Hey folks, welcome back to The Pulse. My name is Matt, and this is Crypto Heartbeat. Welcome back. It is Monday, high noon, Central Texas time, November 21st. And today we've got a, another big announcement. I told you, the gift that keeps on giving. That's what we're going to be doing today. But first, I want to ask you a question. You know what superconductivity is? Superconductors. That's part of the theme today. You know what superconductivity is? It is the lack of resistance. I was talking to my buddy, David Lee, earlier, minutes earlier, and we were talking about resistance. Resistance is futile, they say. I want you to think about this for a second. Superconductivity. This is this like holy grail of electricity, this idea that we would be able to pass electricity with zero heat right? So no resistance. And I want you to think that as a metaphor for today and your own life and what's going on in this world and everything, right? This world is broken. And I want you to see that as just like a, a copper wire. What happens when you send a lot of amperage through a copper wire? It heats up. There's resistance, even though it's a good conductor. You think about tungsten, what's used in kilns. It heats up things. You use that resistance to your benefit, right? You want to heat something up. But we in life are resistant. It says in the Bible that we're kicking at the goads. We're kicking back at this. We think we're in control. And I assure you, when you stared at your dad in a casket, you know that you don't have a whole lot of control. The question is, are you being resistant? Are you pushing back? Are you part of the problem? I examine this stuff all the time, and I realize most of the time I am. It's my own pride. It's my own selfishness. It's my own um, brokenness. That is the resistance, if you will, pushing back. You know, one of the great things about the blockchain and what's going on in crypto is the fact that we're coming together. We're coming together in unity and it's a new thing. And a new thing is very exciting. It gives you hope and peace. And so what would things be like if we weren't resisting? And I don't mean that we're controlled by someone else. What I mean by that is we're a pass through. What if you could pass through all of the energy, all of the love, right? All of what is valuable to others. What if you were just conduit and that conduit was super conducting? And I think that's a big part of what I want to share with you today. I want to share with you a concept I've shared many times before, and then I want to share the big news. Because we, we continually want to promote the building of community. And one of the things that I, I had a mentor early on when I was in college who said this a million times, and I've kind of adopted it as one of my you know, core principles that I live by, and that is give away what you want to receive. All right, so let's, let's say it again. Give away what you want to receive. What does that mean? Well, we've heard a lot of times in kind of self-help, help other people win and you will win. Well, that couldn't be more relevant than in the blockchain. Crypto is all about community. It's all about momentum. It's all about um, people working together and seeing eye to eye. We are building digital nations. Why? Because we're creating our own version of fiat. And what is fiat but by decree? We are decreeing its value. We're pointing at something and saying that's value. And we're contributing our proxies for labor. All the paper money is in this world is a proxy for your labor. Somebody says, hey, I'll pay you 10 bucks an hour. And every hour you work, you get 10 bucks. People take their cut. But that's what it is. It's a proxy. It's a representation of your time, effort, energy, productivity, your labor. And what are you doing it? When you invest or when you're in crypto or whatever it may be, you're contributing this to essentially an immutable contract. And it's a common pool in that respect. And that common pool is one where there are people. Now, I look at Hex as a great example. 150,000 people came together and they said, you know what? We're going to put our common um, proxies for our labor together in hopes that this contract will do what it says it's going to do. But why do we like it better? Because there's no one monkey in with the rules. There's no one in central authority that's controlling the supply. And that's the problem with the Federal Reserve. But if it wasn't for Satoshi, it wasn't for the blockchain, we wouldn't have immutable contracts that you can have some faith in. As much faith as you can in the internet sticking around, which is a lot better than governments. But what's amazing about this time in the blockchain, I want you to see this and how big this is, is that essentially we are believing a story 
We are coming together in unity and there's so much more value than money. There's so much more value than money that is captured in all of this stuff. And so when you think about this scarcity model that we're in right now, people fighting wars over energy, who's going to control things? And you stop for a second and you let go, there's less resistance and there's more abundance. Give away what you want to receive. You want more love in your life? Love more people. Be more loving. You want to have trust? Trust more people. Right? It's, these things work together. Now, you have to be shrewd. You have to be sensible. You have to be smart. But at the end of the day, this is a principle for living, is that are you considering others in addition to yourself? Because that's how value is created in this future that we're going to live in. Because this future we live in, we have the opportunity to live in abundance by restructuring the economic system in, by utilizing the tools of the blockchain. And that's the miracle to me. And I see it so clearly, and I want you to see it so clearly. And so give away what you want to receive. So I'm going to share with you something that is going to be available to anyone who free claimed on Wednesday at high noon. Okay, so it's Monday right now, high noon, Central Texas time. So in two days, so this will be Wednesday at noon, you as a claimer. So we've taken all of the people who have claimed so what I mean by that is wallets. This is not donors. This is just free claimers, okay? So you're someone who had sacrifice for Pulse, Pulse X, or you sacrifice, or you um, had an active hack stake as of July 4th, okay? So if you free claimed, you came to the Texan.cc website and you connected your wallet and it said, you're in. Okay, we've taken all of those addresses and it'll come in. And on Wednesday, you'll be able to come back. You'll be able to come back. But here's what you'll be able to come back to do. And I'm going to appeal to your sense of understanding of this concept of give away what you want to receive and become super conductive because it only benefits you. But I know there will be people who scam the system. Why? Because the human heart is corrupt above all else, my friends. But I'm okay with that. And Brandon's okay with that. And our team's okay with that. Here's what's going to happen. I want you to think about someone that you care about. I want you to think about someone you care about who is not in crypto. Okay? They're not in crypto. They're a no-coiner. They didn't sacrifice for anything. They haven't had Bitcoin, Ethereum. They haven't had anything. They don't know what Hex is. They don't know anything. Okay? I want you to think about that person you're going to get a chance to give a million Texan tokens to them. They have to have a wallet, and you're going to share with them. So I want you to think about this. Every single person, every single wallet that sacrificed, I'm sorry, sacrificed, that free claimed is going to have the opportunity. If you are in that list, you're going to see a new field appear on that page, and you're going to be able to cut and paste an address in there per qualifying wallet. I'm asking that you consider someone and see this as a gift. I want you, I want to challenge you to give away what you want to receive. Give away what you want to receive. What do you want? You want abundance in your life. You want to see people freed from debt slavery. You want people to be out of bondage. We're giving you the opportunity to give. Now, if you want to be selfish and put in your own address or create another account, nothing we can do about that. But this is an opportunity for you to say to someone, hey, I know you missed out on this stuff. I know you know I've been in crypto. I really want you to have this gift. I've been given this gift of a million Texan tokens per qualifying wallet to someone else. And I'm going to cut and paste your address. I'm going to show you how to get a wallet. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to put any money. It's free. And you're going to get airdropped a million Texan tokens because of the folks at Texan and the team wants to give away what they want to receive. We want to encourage you. So on Wednesday... At high noon, Central Texas time, two days from now, you will be able to come if you are in the free claim. And it will check to make sure you're in the free claim. It will create a new, basically there's going to be a place you can cut and paste. Do not type, cut and paste a wallet address in there. We will never know if it's yours and you just want to get extra, but you're, go, you're basically, you're violating the principle. And I, I, I highly don't recommend that. Use this as an opportunity to bless someone. There's nothing greater than giving. There's a greater feeling than giving. 
And so I want you to use this opportunity with the qualifying wallets that you have to think about people. And we want to, we want you to bring them into the fold. This is really, really, really an opportunity for you to, um, to be generous. And that's really the whole goal here. What do you want to receive? Give it away. Give it away. All right. That's the big announcement. I will share it again in a minute. I'm going to get into the chat here. And then we're going to uh, we're going to chat it up a little bit. I got some data for you. I've got some pretty exciting things. These are news and updates about the Texan token and how things are going. And it was amazing. We finished up our free claim. The final number for free claim that 30 day period, 21,790 people, 21,790 people free claimed. Those are wallet addresses with the donors of 1836. Our total folks that are a part of this total wallet addresses is 23,626, 23,626 wallets. It's pretty awesome. And there's there's a, some stragglers in there. There's some extra folks that, that haven't been counted yet, but we're pretty close to 24,000. We want to see this opportunity that this 21,790 that free claimed would have an extra, um, you're going to have an extra uh, wallet address to cut and paste in. It's pretty cool. But I'm, I'm going to appeal to you, please. This is a million Texan tokens. I'd encourage you utilize this gift as an opportunity for you to give and do something for someone who you know ought to be in crypto, but they're just not. They haven't gotten around to it. They haven't done it. And this is an opportunity, especially if they care about freedom and sovereignty and they're aligned with the story rather than just handing something. No, no, be thoughtful about it. But this is a gift we give to you to give to someone else. Okay. If you want to be selfish and put in your own address, knock yourself out. But just remember, all things in this universe will come back to you. So give away what you want to receive. Grav is first. What's up, Grav? You're number one. Checks my pulse in the house. Afternoon, Matt. Howdy, Hexicans. Peppy's here this morning. Good to see you. Saw your short. I just saw that. You put that up there, and I went to that. I'm like, oh, that's way back when. That's when we were in Austin for that Hexican meetup for the 5555 tour. Thank you so much for pointing that out. I appreciate it. Magnus, let's go. Let's forward go, Love Rich. Maybe I think we're going to to the bottom this week. You know, it is a very, very good possibility. I think what we're going to see is we're going to see massive amounts of people exposed to FTX in this crisis. I don't know if you've been watching BitBoy and what, what's going on, but Kevin O'Leary is implicated in potentially colluding with FTX to bring down Celsius. And they shorted Celsius all the way down. That a reason that Celsius went down was actually the shenanigans of FTX and Alameda. That's some big news. And then you think about all these pension funds and all these people that got into it. I mean, this is bigger than the Bernie Madoff story. It's going to expose so many things. However, is there a silver lining? Well, when you come to Crypto Heartbeat, you get my positive attitude mixed with all of this chicanery. And what you get is this. I think that there's a possibility that when the, the Federal Reserve wanted to raise interest rates to slow down the economy, they didn't know they were going to get help from FTX burning billions of dollars of value. And so this is going to slow things down in addition to just the normal slowing that increasing of rates does. So I think actually we've accelerated the bottom and we've accelerated the potential of the next top because of the fact that just did not anticipate so many people losing so much. But be thankful. Hex users unaffected, folks. True DeFi. That's going to be the theme for the next five years, 10 years. True DeFi. And where can you get yield without Something about middlemen D, I'm not sure what that means. Lost on crypto heartbeat. Godfather J6 in the house. Howdy, everyone. Hope you're doing well, having a good weekend. Great weekend. You know, I uh, what'd you do this weekend? This weekend, my wife said, we're getting out all the Christmas decorations. And so you know what that means, right? Yep, digging stuff out of the back of the storage unit. Facing reality with the elbow, dab, cough, kinetics. Sorry, I can't be here for this awesome announcement. Happy for all the people that did the right thing. There you go. Kinetics has been a really great supporter of us. Um, he's been a great supporter of so many people, and I just really appreciate I appreciate that, Kinetics. Thanks for being here, and thanks for your support. Um, everybody's happy to see Kinetics 
meditation zone just in time hello everyone immutable big news oh yeah immutable didn't even know this i don't think unless he talked to rags about it big announcement you get to give away a gift you get to bring someone who's never been in crypto and you're gonna you're gonna cut and paste their address or you're not it's really up to you give away what you want to receive i believe that this community is a community of people who cares about other people i do and you know what? Maybe I'm naive. <laughs> Pollyanna, as they say. What? When airdrop, Emilio J, it's going to be airdropped when um, the Pulse Chain launches. So as soon as the Pulse Chain launches, the dust will settle and we will launch the Texan token. And what will happen is the first thing that will happen is the contract goes up and we deploy the token. The second thing we do is the airdrop. And so that's how you'll know. And some people have been asking, how do I know what I had? Well, there's two things you need to be aware of. If you gave to the Texas Nationals movement and you were not one of the top 10 wallets, you get 100,000 Texan tokens to one loyalty point from the TNM. The TNM is going to give us a spreadsheet or we're going to look on the blockchain and we're going to award Texan tokens based on your giving to a nonprofit, a 501c4 organization called the Texas Nationals movement. If you're a free claimer and you did not give, you get a million Texan tokens per qualifying wallet that are free. And those will be airdropped. We pay the gas. That's it. So if you want to add up the numbers, you can add up the numbers. Pretty straightforward and easy to understand. Bonus for Texan free claimers. This stream, that's right. When Pulse Chain. I think Pulse Chain's coming soon because I think the bottom is coming very, very soon. Isn't it amazing what kind of a crystal ball that Richard has had? He knew all this stuff. It's like, hold on a second. He got the sports almanac and he went back to the future. Am I right? He had to have. Hey, what's up? Um, when bottom soon, 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 right? I mean, I think if anything, we pay attention to what, uh, what Richard has said in the past, 11 K and pray Emilio J when V3, well, that's going to be the big indicator. When you see V3, like start popping the popcorn folks. I think we're about four weeks out. And I mean that genuinely, not the like old school four weeks. I really mean that David Lee all the way from Southwestern Indiana and that is the cue to share with you some big news again this is we're doubling up on the good news david lee's the guy that traveled seven and a half hours from southwestern indiana to be at my dad's funeral but i also want you to know something about david lee the way i got to know david lee is we started the compassion cartel this was people who wanted to give away a portion of their pulse and pulse x sacrifice just give it away wanted to, to meet with other people get together with other people and, and make a difference if you want to know more you can go to pulsepromise.com and learn that story but David Lee came into that. I didn't know him from anybody. He's a hexagon. He came in and he shared that his wife, Stacy, had stage four colon cancer. And I had a really good friend of mine who passed from stage four colon cancer. And I just um, had a heart for him. And I felt like the Lord was in, impressing upon me to pray for him. And of course, this was new early in the in the crypto heartbeat story and channel. And I just like, all right, let's let's get together. And Pastor Scott Jankowski came alongside me and said, yeah, let's pray for him. And we got on to a, a Telegram video chat and we prayed for David Lee and Stacy. And after that, we got amazing, amazing story. They were getting scans and it was like miraculously lesions were gone. Miraculously tumors were gone. And so that was a while ago. And then, you know, things, um, some good results and then some questionable results. Um, prayed even more and continued to pray for them. And then amazing thing happened. Um, you know, you, I don't know how all this stuff fits together and how all this works, but I just know that when I keep on praying, amazing things happen. And I, I know that there's some, um, there's some sense in all of this. And I just got an update from, uh, David Lee right prior to this stream that they just had, uh, at the end of the week, they had scans again. And this is like the third time in a row that there has been, um, they've been stable. This is a big deal. If you understand about stage four cancer and you understand how things work there. So the treatments that they've been using and all of your support and he wanted me and I wanted to give you an update. If you were somebody that was concerned about Stacy Lee and David Lee, now, you know, stable, and that has enabled her to get into additional trials it's been a miracle and just a blessing and he wanted me to tell you and i want to tell you because you know what crypto is more than about money and of course during this time of course it's not about money because everything's like falling off the table however community it's amazing having a great new friend like david lee because of crypto 
He traveled seven and a half hours to my dad's funeral. Come on, let's go. So folks, I wanted to share that with you. That is really, really good news. If you know David Lee, give him a, sh a shout out. Give him an encouragement in the chat. Um, send him a DM. Um, continue to pray for him and his, his wife. And I know there's many people out there that are struggling. David Lee was transparent about that. And I encourage you to be transparent about what your challenges are because we divide your pain and we multiply your joy. That's the whole point of community. Thanks for being here. David Lee, thanks for everything. You're a good man. Taking care of your wife. Take care of yourself as well. Ah, uh, Al, Texas, the best country in the world. That's right. Republic of Texas 2.0 coming soon. A vote coming up in November of 2023. We're going to see some amazing things happen here as the new legislative session starts in Texas in January. Hexa Cat, what's up? Free Lambos. Yep, there you go. You, you, you got it, man. That's the announcement. Everybody gets a free Lambo like Oprah or something. Um, Nico, hey, David Lee, Matt, and all from Brisbane, Australia. Let's go. Good to see Optimum Timeline in the house. Everyone gets a Lambo. Oh, my gosh. Francis Paul, hello. What's going on? You got it. Andre369, Texan Token. And speaking of this and your rocket ship. Okay. I just have to tell you this funny story. I pulled up this chart, and I want you to see this. This is pretty fun. And Andre, you win the prize for this one. So... <laughs> And Al, and Al, $5 Texan token soon? Okay, so check this out. So when we first launched on the test net, and now everything I'm about to show you is test net, none of what I share is financial advice because I'm the last person you'd take financial advice from because I am just someone who talks on YouTube. This is entertainment and educational and maybe maybe some good, good uh, thoughts for living. Um, but check this out. So when we first put up the token, I think we took like a hundred bucks or 10 bucks in um, Pulse or PulseX to create, you have to create liquidity on PulseX, right? And so to get it started there. And then we obviously launched the token, told people about it on the test net. This is not main net, this is test net. And of course, you know, things went pretty crazy. Um, we were really excited about it. And it was like 18 cents. And then at one point in time, it hit a dollar. And everybody was like, and this is on the test net, mind you. And we're like, wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> so we must have had some giant whale. So somebody who had a lot of pulse and pulse X. And look at this price, folks. This is on the test net. <laughs> Uh, $13.47. I think the highest we saw was $16. This is the Texan token on the test net of PulseX. But we started at 0. 0.0001 and it's at 13 bucks, which is nuts. I mean, it's completely unrealistic, completely unrealistic. But it's an indication to me that there are some really, um, there's some really substantial people that are interested, at least in playing around on the test net. And I think that's pretty fun. It's an encouragement to me. And hopefully an encouragement to you but it's nuts folks being in um living at this time when the financial world is changing and it is transitioning and we can come together in community we can tokenize communities we can literally create our own decree and what is our decree our decree is this is value this is what we consider to be valuable and that's a, it's a flywheel and it continues to spin and that as it gains momentum and potential energy, it's something that can provide long term. And so when you have the right tokenomics, in addition to a large community of close to 24,000 people, you got a good start. You got to prime the pump somewhere, folks. But then we got all these great things happening, which are unfortunate in the political scheme because there's unrest in this world. But what are we potentially doing besides securing our future? We're also helping birth a new nation. And that to me is worth doing. Lambo tractors, bird dog, what's going on? Good to see a huge announcement. Absolutely. Good evening, cold physics. Anders is here. Um, Emilio, good to see you. Uh, hello, all from Southwestern Oregon. Crypto Compassion, he's another guy with a heart of gold. Much love, David. Hexerciser, absolutely. <laughs> Everybody wants to be David Lee. Look at this. Hello, all from. Las Vegas, Nevada. Nice to see you. Sam Kemp, it's our very freedom that's at stake. Isn't that the truth? It's our freedom that's at stake. You know, self-determination is such a big thing, right? People wanting to decide how they want to be governed. This is this idea that was embedded in the Declaration of Independence, right? 
you know, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, not life, liberty, and the guarantee of happiness, but you kind of got to understand that we all kind of agree that, yeah, we should have some, a police force and we should have some traffic laws and we should have some traffic lights and we should have like some sewer services and we should have, you know, all of these things that we agree on are really the decision of the people. And people have gotten away from that because they've been born into the system. They assume that this just magically happens, but it's actually a representational Republic or a democracy, if you will, loosely. And that's something that, you know, when it gets out of hand, you got to reboot the system folks. And I'll tell you, we got good boots here in Texas. We're going to put a boot in your beep. Taryn. Hello all. Thanks for the good Lord for another day, another chance to build righteous character. There you go. You know, and that's how it gets built. It gets built through hardship. Consider it pure joy when facing troubles of many kinds, my friends. Don't mess with Texas and Texas. Jeff Woods in the house. Anders, good to see you. Um, give one, receive two. <laughs> Dan Cherzenkowski, good morning from Alberta, Canada. Matt, check out the show, The Chosen. I think you'll like it. Great production value, all done in Texas. Fantastic. I'll take a look at that. Anders, Magnus, what's going on? Drix is in the house. Ease and chill. Awesome. All right. So well, I'm going to share with you once again, what is the announcement? The announcement is I'm encouraging you to give a gift to someone who is not in crypto. Get, help them get a MetaMask wallet, right? It's super quick, super easy, right? Get their public address. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to put fiat in. They don't have to buy anything. It's free. And because of you, because of your friendship and because of your relationship and because you want to see them win, you're going to go, if you were a free claimer, you're going to come with your wallet. It's going to check. Yep, you're a free claimer. And it's going to give you a form field. And you're going to cut and paste into that. And you're going to give free airdrop to a friend. And I'm just asking that you do it because give away what you want to receive. What do you want to receive? You want to receive growth and a future and hope and all of those things. And you're a part of something great. I'd encourage you to think about somebody who cares about Texas independence, cares about freedom and sovereignty, cares about self-determination. But this is a gift we give to you to give to someone else. Now, if you want to be selfish and you put in your own address, I can't tell. I will never know. Only you in your heart will know. But I would encourage you to take this opportunity. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's a child. Maybe it's uh, your niece, your nephew, your uncle Burl, whatever it is. There you go. Awesome. That's awesome. Freddie quotes. Okay, Freddie quotes was on the cabana stream with the the bedazzled. I mean, it was like gring, blinging out the Texan logo on the shirt there. And then he put the cowboy hat on. I appreciate that so much, Freddie quotes. Thanks for your support. Super, super appreciated. Optimal timeline. I'll be doing that. I heard someone that really can use it, and he is in no corner. I have perfect. That's exactly what this is for meditations and somebody that you're thinking about, you're like, yeah, these people don't understand. Cause here's what I've said so many times because it happened to me. Crypto has to prove it to you. So what happens if these million Texan tokens that get airdrop free to this person you thought of just now? And you're like, yeah, I'm going to do it for so-and-so it's Sally down the street or it's whoever it is. You're like, oh, yeah, I'll give it to this person. Then you get to track with them. You know, you get to track with them and he's like, hey, let's take a look at this. Hey, how's it going? Hey, watch this. Here's a link. And you have given something and it's going to build relationship, right? It's an opportunity for you to bring someone in. You know what I'm saying? Upper deck dog, create abundance by giving. Great message, Matt. And that's it, right? Give away what you want to receive. Because we know that the strength in the community is the key to value, right? Richard says it all the time. He says, this, and I get it. I mean, I totally get it. The only thing that matters in crypto is buying and holding. And so you have to have tokenomics, but you have to have community. You have great tokenomics and no one's in your community. You got zero, folks. We're priming the pump. 21,790 people were in the free claim. And then with the donors, we're at 23,626. I would say roughly 24,000 when all is said and done. And now any claimer who free claimed is going to have the ability to give a free claim to someone else, another address, right? I mean, you could be selfish and use your own address. I'm not recommending that. Use this as an opportunity to think about somebody that you would give to. That's the announcement. Um, Al, what's up, dude? It is a free, no value tax and token that is given to people who donated to a registered 501c4 organization. You haven't given any money to us. And this is free tax and token that we give to you. No value, zero value. Hex credible. 
Hi, all. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Freddie Quotes, I know the perfect guy. Perfect. See, Freddie Quotes is thinking just the way we want to encourage you to think. Who should be the one? And it, you know, I think that you have to understand everything is a narrative meme. Well, it's a, narr it's a narrative. It's a story. There are people that the Texan token resonates with, and there are people who it doesn't, right? I've got some liberal friends who wouldn't want to have Texan token. So think about that story as you think about who you'd want to give this gift to. Thank you. God bless you. Um, or That's amazing. I hope everyone uses this opportunity to onboard someone they care about and wanted them to be in crypto. Yeah, that's what it is. It's kind of, yeah, it, it uses the principle that we know makes things work. Give away what you want to receive. Cool. Uh, Alexander, thank you. Thank you. Truly is a great idea. Just basic stuff, right? Give away what you want to receive. Woohoo. Al, good to see you. Bloom Bomb, what's up, Bloom? I just came in, as he said, that's the big announcement. <laughs> yeah, and I just said it again, so hopefully you got that. You can rewind. Yeah, I'm going I'm to say it one more time before we get off of this stream. Patrice, uh, salutations, everyone, and good vibes. Let's make Texas great again. Let's make Texas a country again. How about that? Sounds good. What's the announcement, chat? Um, yeah, so this will be available on Wednesday at high noon Central Texas time, so two days from today. You're going to be able to come to the texan.cc website you're going to see the the claim button at the top it'll be there you'll click on that you're going to then connect your wallet and it's going to it's going to check that wallet against our free claimer database if you're free claimed you're in the database you're going to get a no, new form field and you're going to be able to cut and paste someone else's public address in there and we will airdrop to them a million texan tokens this is meant for you to share with someone that you care about, who cares about and maybe resonates with the idea of Texas independence or really you want to get into crypto and would value this. Don't waste it. It's an opportunity for you to build a relationship with someone else who's not in crypto. This will be available on Wednesday the 23rd at noon Central Time. That's right. Coming soon. Two days away. Give away what you want to receive, David Lee says. Heck, is it rich? Do you think it's odd the YouTubers are basically bragging about the SEC. Not sure who you're speaking of. I know some people are actually hiding out, you know, and I think different, you know, lawyers have different sensibilities as it relates to these things. But, you know, I, I really, I see things the way RG3 does. I think that, you know, it's obvious to me that regulators don't understand hacks and they'll have to understand hacks in this process. So actually, I think it's good news seeing Richard in the spaces and getting the credit credit for being truly decentralized. And then once you understand that I don't get paid, we, no one gets paid for this stuff. We're just talking about the stuff that we like. You know, I could easily have a, uh, a channel about country music or or whatever, anything. All right. My favorite sports team. And so that's the thing that is so cool about the fact that crypto is a communication network, right? It is. I mean, really, in a way, value is communication, right? Trading of value. David Gomez, hit the like button. John Galt, I've wondered who you are. The universe provides unlimited abundance. That's right. Just take a look around, folks. You know, the birds of the air. Hmm. You know, that's the future. And I think what's so great about this is how can we come together and we agree on what's of value? You know, this is um, this is a powerful, powerful idea. And the cat's out of the bag. I mean, this is this is uh, amazing. Extravagant takes. Thanks for all you do, Matt. Thank you for being here. And thank you for being a part of the story. I can't do it on my own, right? If people could create their own, they would, but they can't. And we've seen centralized players who they're, where their greed has gotten in the way their resistance, right? They've wanted to take more than they should have. They wanted to get hopped up, put it on nitrous with a blower, man. But what are we doing? We're saying, no, slow and steady wins the race. Do these on basic fundamental principles. And you know what? All we can do, honestly, if you really boil it down, Ray, Ryan, Brandon, myself, the rest of the team, all we can do is give. That's all we can do. We, we're, we wrote software that's immutable, no admin keys. We're going to put it on the interwebs, onto the pulse chain. And it just is what it is. That's all we can do. We don't have control after that. It's out. If people want to, if they see it, and how would they see it if they didn't understand the narrative? And that's the whole thing. That's all Hex is. That's all anything is. It's a story. 
And that story is something you either understand or you don't understand. It's either has product market fit or it doesn't have product market fit. And it's only utilized by you. You have to do the work, right? You have to engage with the contract. You have to burn your own tokens to stake. You have to mint back your own rewards. That's it. We're creating software. You're deciding whether you want to engage with an immutable contract or not. DeFi is the way. That sounds amazing. I had a few people that missed out and wanted in, but busy life. This will be a perfect surprise gift for them when they find out they'll get in their wallet. Hey, how cool. It's like a little early Christmas present. Um, Finbear, what? A high five? You know, Finbear, I thought about you, you know, because I've been watching a lot more knife making videos because in the wintertime here, it's a lot easier to get out into a shop and, you know, because it's not 150 degrees. Um, I'm going to do that. You're going to get a knife from me at some point in time. I need to film it too. Crypto economy. This is a great idea. I already know of two people on this. That's cool. And some people had multiple addresses that qualified. They had hex stakes in different wallet addresses. They had um, they did pulse and pulse X with different ones. I know somebody had like 17 different qualifying wallets. So that's 17 more opportunities to give away what you want to receive. Cypher, I'll take two more milli in my own wallet and give them away. All right, do what you will, do what you will. Hex it rich, sending my one million to my sister who just opened a church. That's what I'm talking about. How do you encourage people? That's it. It's all we can do. Life is short, my friends. It is short. Let's do all we can to love people. And this is how we do it, right? What is money, folks? What is money? We spend all this time and effort. You know, you can't take it with you. You are a steward over it. And if you find yourself in abundance, what are you going to do with your money? Are you going to oppress other people? Are you going to wage war? No, I hope not. I hope not. I believe in you. Uh, bought a Q1 2023, perhaps. Yeah, I think so. I think that I think we're going to see right after the new year. I think we're going to see the Pulse Chain launch. Um, but who knows? I've thought that for the last year. Um, you can gift to any wallet. That is correct. I can give to my son. I onboarded tax at 14 cents. Yes. Any address that's not in the data, right? But I'm encouraging you and I can't like make you, I'm just encouraging you to think about someone else um, who would benefit. And also think the, the real purpose of this is to grow the community, grow the community. The people who have come in for a free claim get the ability to get somebody else to have a million Texan tokens. That's it. If you want to know more about the Pulse Promise and that story I was talking about, you can check that out. Meditation Zone. Uh, amen. All on with the heart. What's up? Compassion Cartel is where I found David Lee. Nathan, that's amazing. Patrice, good to see you. Praise God. Oh, man. This just made my day, week, month. Wow. I didn't realize that. I'm glad to hear that, though. And I just am excited. I'm excited, you know, for the story of you just never know. I saw Hex on an ad on TV, right? So somebody bought time on cable television. An old man crypto heartbeat was up at 2 a.m. And I saw this ad for this thing called Hex. I would not be here if it wasn't for a TV ad. Somebody decided that they would just buy. And that's the cool thing about DeFi. There's no centralized organization. There's no marketing department. There's no organization. I'm just buddies with Brandon. My best friend is a coder for 20 years. We run into Ryan, who is an amazing coder himself. And all these people surround us. And we're like, hey, it's this is the future, folks. No contracts, no organization, no employees. No marketing department, believing together, us coming together in community, we create our own value. Boom. Magnus, thank you all for the love, prayers, energy, wishes, and support. Think about, think about how happy David Lee is. And then about money, there's nothing money can do. Now, money's helpful. It's a great tool. But look at this. How amazing is it? Stacy Lee, stable report. Amazing. So excited. Just like, praise the Lord. Checks my pulse. Awesome. Jeff Woods with the love. Uh, Marjan, that's amazing. God is great. Awesome news. God bless. So happy for them. CP in the house. Congratulations, David Lee. Everybody loves a David Lee. God bless you and your family. Hex Farmer in the house. What's up, everyone? David Lee, a man among giants, a legend, a true gentleman. It is an honor to pray for you and your family, brother. John Jay in the UK, bringing it. That's so nice. 
Onboarding is difficult if the interest is not there or because of the busy life and others. But this gift will help give that spark of interest and opportunity waiting for them. You guys are very giving. And you get to give. You get to think about that person. And you know, you think about, you know when you give gifts to people, I think about giving a gift. Like whenever I give a gift to my wife, there's always a story around the gift, right? It's not like I just, you know, had my assistant pick up something for my wife. No, some thought went into it. And she wants to hear that story. It's the provenance. It's the story around it, like how difficult it was to get or why I was thinking about her, what she said and dropped hints about her, whatever it may be. And that's part of this whole deal. And that it also is going to connect you with this person you give to for a long time. Because depending on if this free thing has value in the future, there may be a really unique relationship that you build with this person. You know? We will see. That's the beauty of it. Hex on air, love and love, crazy test net price. Isn't that crazy, Archie? I mean, it blew my mind. I mean, it blew my mind at a dollar, much less 14 to 16 bucks. That's unrealistic because that's only a fraction of what may happen when the money comes into it. Ah, uh, you know what? No speculation, no forward-looking statements here, but I understand what you're saying. That, you know, what is crypto but hope? Crypto is hope. It is it is the hope of abundance. It's an amazing time. This is we will look back and and we will talk with grandkids about this, and they'll be like, "Grandpa, were you there during the whole uh, Web three? And you're like, "Yeah, I was," and it was unbelievable. And you'll you'll be saying things like, "Kids, when I was a kid, you only got eight percent on your money," and then crypto came along. Daniel, oh, nice chart. The Philippines are watching. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? That's our next project. I'm super excited. So in the first week of January, I'm sorry, burp, back up. In the first week of December, we're going to have John. John is the founder of the project in the Philippines. I'm so excited for you to meet him. He's going to tell you about that project. That's going to be in the first week of December. And just hear the story of what's going on. A thousand plus churches in the Philippines. Amazing. When Florida token, crypto T, you know what's surprising about that is that when you see a referendum on the ballot coming up probably in March or April, you're going to see people go, whoa, Texas is voting to leave and it's like real and people are going to start choosing sides. Tenth Amendment and states rights is going to be the topic. And we're going to see this is going to be news across the world. It's amazing the momentum that will provide for the project because, you know, people are going to be interested in knowing more about this. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? A catalyst, folks, a catalyst for change. And it's and it's um and it's playing by the rules and it's um peaceful. Crypto is the peaceful revolution that leads to a renaissance. Sex Bean, hello from the north. Um you yeah, had the boot checks my pulse. Oak Hearts, first time I've seen you, I feel like. Better to advertise the RX wallet as that one is better than MetaMask for newbies as it does a test run prior to sending, so stops being scammed. Interesting. That's interesting. I'm not, um, Aurox obviously is, is uh, known, reputable. I have not used it. So thanks for that heads up there, Oak Hearts. I'm going to do this for my dad or little brother. Thank you, Nathan. Awesome. Uh, Aaron Hex, good to see you. Sandy Beach saying hello. All my family think I'm, Barking mad, none of them really into crypto. I'm trying to educate them. Thank you for this. Should help bring a couple people on board. Thanks, Matt Rex. Use it however you wish. Um, but I do think that it's a it's a it's a unique way in which we can grow. And you know, in theory, we could double we could double the audience from twenty one thousand seven hundred ninety. Right? Can you imagine 40, 43,000 people. That'd be a heck of a way to start this thing. Texan, always looking out for everyone in the community. This is so awesome to witness. Amazing gift for the community and bringing others we care into the mix. Bring them into the mix, Tribal Sounds. Crypto has to prove itself to you, right? So I put $600 into Hex, right? Oh, there, I'm really proud of myself. And it was two days before big payday. And then bought my daughter a car. Um, and, you know, it went up from $600 to... I think the final was like 15,000. That's only a 25X. That's only a 25X. $600 became 15,000. And that's only a 25X. That's nuts. Hello, Matt and everyone. Sandy Beach. I'm late. Did I miss the bonus announcement? You did, but I will do it at the end here before we get off. 
Um, Nathan, beyond appreciated. Thanks so much. Barry Crump, how does one apply for citizenship for the new independent Texas? I can no longer live in this beep. That is the UK has become. I think we're going to see a lot of that. we got 30 million people in Texas. And when people see this, you know, I ask the question, where do good people go? And Barry, you're good people. There needs to be a refuge. There needs to be a place that's the best place on planet Earth for crypto. It needs to be a place where there's no IRS. There needs to be a place where there is no Federal Reserve. Folks, when you reboot the system, right, you get to rewrite the rules. And that's what it's all about. Self-determination. Sometimes you got to reboot the system. Because the system has gotten out of control. Text G unit, bless you and the team, Matt. Thank you so much. Crypto Chronic, Barry, I want to move there also. Um, and of course, you know, none of the stuff. We're not tied to Texas in any way. Like we're not official in any way. We're just using the brand Texan. What does it mean to be a Texan? It's not a state. It's a state of mind. It's a story, right? And we're supporting an organization. We're putting our money where our mouth is. We said, don't give to us. Give to a 501c4 organization that's working to help get a referendum on the ballot. You can go to texan.cc coming up on Wednesday at high noon, and that's where you're going to be able to check. Obviously, you're, you're a free claimer. So any wallet that you used in free claim, you're going to be able to have an extra free claim for someone else. So you're going to be able to cut and paste in a different address. Don't cut and paste in the one that you've already used, right? Find someone else. That's the way to do it, right? You want to utilize this to onboard people that are like, you know what? This person ought to be in this. And I was thinking about this. Many people have um, friends who, you know, just haven't taken the plunge. And they haven't, you know, they've listened to you at parties or whatever. And you're like, hey, I, this is a gift. I want to give you a gift. You want a gift? And then you're going to be able to track with them and build a relationship with them. And that's really what it's all about, you know? It's about like every great story. One man wants the glory. And what does he get? Love, friendship, community. It's every great story. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, all kinds of great news coming out of this place. Nathan, I want to move to Austin soon. Definitely want to go to the Kill Tony Comedy Podcast. There, as much as possible. The comedy scene there is incredible. Yeah, Austin is an interesting place. Austin is not representative of Texas, um, but it is becoming the new Silicon Valley. A lot of big companies coming, obviously Tesla. I'm sure we'll see um, Twitter as well. A lot of people, more Fortune 500 companies than any other state. Um, do, do, do. Oh, that's wonderful. Richard, what's up with the clap? True DeFi, that's the only way to play. Matt, for president of Texas, not anytime soon, Crypto Chronic. You know what I, I want? I want to have an opportunity to sit at the table when it comes to crypto regulations. That's that's where I'm at. And I want Rag sitting next to me with the vipes on. You know what I'm saying? 15 minutes behind, but wonderful news. David Lee, absolutely. Um, heartbeat, you are a pastor as well. Well, you know what's funny about that is um, I came to know the Lord at uh, 28 years old. It was September 10th of 2000 when I had like this like amazing experience. And it was, um, you know, transformed everything. And of course, over the years, I've been like asking, hey, what's the calling? What do you want me to do? And I've told you this before. My calling in life is to unlock global generosity. And that's a part of what crypto has really shown me. But in that process, I've always said, hey, do you want me to be a pastor? And the answer has always been no. And what I didn't realize was this is the actual opportunity. Because here's the thing. I don't know if you guys know this. So a lot of people are anti-Christian. Here's the thing where it gets messed up. People are broken. So anything we create is broken, right? It's not perfect. It's It's far from perfect. But we're efforting towards having something that's more perfect perfect but one of the things that's amazing is the the gospel has been described as good news what does that mean well if it's not good news for everyone then it's not good news right so if you think that well christianity is only for this type of people or this color of people or this clean of people then you realize that it's not good news for somebody that's not included and so what do i recognize i recognize the fact that what the organized church has done which they're effective in some ways is different than what i want to do i want to do what i'm told to do and what am i told to do love others that's it pastor scott jankowski said it is not my job to convince you that god exists he will do that all on his own my job is to love you 
and to encourage you and to spur you on to love and good deeds, to help other people, to give away what you want to receive, to be positive, to be encouraging, to breathe life into you, to encourage you to get outside of yourself and be less resistant and to be more caring for others. Consider others in addition to yourself. That's the truth, in my opinion, and that's good news. Now, you may encounter the supernatural in the process, but that's not my power. I'm just one beggar helping another beggar find food. How long will we have to enter an address on Wednesday? That's a great question, Exit Rich. Um, it's going to be at least seven days. How's that? At least seven days. It may be more. I'm not sure. But seven days. Let's say seven days right now. So one week, Wednesday to Wednesday at high noon. Okay. So if you know of anybody, they need to like pay attention. You can share this out. Tell them what's up. Um, <laughs> this Thanksgiving week will be celebrated like no other. That's fantastic. I can't wait to meet all of you in the future to continually build and improve together. Nathan, so when we launch, right after we launch, and I don't mean days, but weeks or months after we launch, we're going to do a meetup in Central Texas. And we're going to do kind of a, uh, not a conference but we're going to have some time where we're going to spend some time together. Um, I've got a venue that I'm looking at. And so... You know, we'd love to bring about 100 people together for kind of a meetup slash, you know, get together celebration. Um, and so we'll share more information after launch about that. But it's really important to us to get together. And the theme of that is a fellowship, right? What is a fellowship? It's a, you know, the fellowship of the ring. You remember that, right? J.R.R. Tolkien, right? This idea that one ring to rule them all. Well, this idea that there's this rollicking band of different people and that different people, um, those different people are, have different skills and abilities. And, you know, there's like elves and gnomes and hobbits and all this stuff. This is us, right? We're all different people. And you come together in an agreement for a purpose, right? That is the fellowship. And so that's what we want to do is want to get together and um, high five. Lots of high fiving would be nice. So I'd love to have you there, Nathan, in Central Texas. Um, sushi. I love sushi, man. Whew. There is nothing like sushi. I have an extra stomach for sushi. I mean, literally, an extra, like, I can eat so much sushi. There's nothing like wasabi. My boy is here. The kids are off school. He's here. You can have a head in there, my friend. You want to say hello to everybody? Hey, come on. We're live. This is my son. This is my son, Gage. Come on in here, buddy. Dude, show them your your. You know, you got to move over the other way so you can say hi. And look hello. at the cam look at the camera right there. See, say hello, hello, hello. All right, buddy, you got your iPad. Knock yourself out, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, mom drops him off. She's like, I don't want to take him to the store with the girls. He can come with you. Uh, you guys are making uh, me cry good tears again, David Lee. Isn't that great? It's awesome. This is it, man. I'll tell you. You know, and people sense that stuff when they got people coming around them, caring for them. Chronic with the love, Nathan with the love, God is good with the Sam Kim, love, all kinds of love on Crypto Heartbeat. Uh, we should have a Texas flag to put up outside our homes. Well, let's do it right now, man. All right, here we go. So somebody sent this to me, and I'm not sure who sent it to me, but I got a Texas flag in the mail. And this nice it's like embroidered so very 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 happy about that got one flying outside the house i'd encourage you to do that as well it's kind of fun get yourself a texas fly um greetings from denmark that's the other thing it's so cool to have friends across the world but it's also cool that even though the brand is texan right and we know that texas is a state in the united states and that will become a republic again this is a bigger idea than that. It's about freedom and sovereignty. When you look at the contract, the contract is what the contract is. It's just going to be an immutable contract on the blockchain. So anyone can utilize that and benefit from the yield that it produces. So if you've got any questions about that, I can answer them as well. Magnus, good to see you. Jay Mann, hello, my friends. KS, Matt, you are a good person. Well, you know what? Who is good, right? I assure you, if you really knew me, I'd really annoy you. But, you know, we're efforting in a direction. And every day I get up and I think, you know what? It's not about me. And you know what's so cool about it is I get to do this. And this I really enjoy doing. I really enjoy encouraging people. And I want to see the world be a better place for my son and for my kids. And I want to see 
us take advantage of this opportunity in crypto to free the captives because people are locked in debt slavery. And we have the tools. We know what to do. All we have to do is come together in agreement. That's all it takes. And we've seen it happen. Look at Hex, 10,000X. Good Lord, folks. DeFi is the future. And we're seeing all the centralized stuff just go boom. And that is great for us long term. You know, it's sad right now for people who have lost money, right? All these people doing all these criminal things and stealing money. Hex users, unaffected. What's up? Gage saying hello. What's up, little man? Hex Credible says hello. Sam Kemp says hello to Gage. He hears this. Greetings from Portugal. Nothing but love. Martin Axel. Love from Switzerland. So Martin is the artist. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Martin's the one that anything that comes out in the Hex community or it's just really cool. And he's actually expanded his art out into some of the other memes and stuff. Very nice. And I hope that that art is, you know, it's hard for an artist to actually monetize what they do. And you see all the NFT stuff and all that. But I love what you're doing. I bought one of those originals from Martin. And I'm just glad that you're here. Thanks for being here. Um, and thanks for what you do, right? You're just, you're putting your, your skills and your ability and your gifts to work. And I, I hope that it's something that it's fun. It's fun. And you do a great job. So thanks for all of that. That looks good on you, Matt. Thanks so much. Uh, Joseph Cross, just heard about this. I miss it. I'm going to tell you one more time before we get off here. God is good. Thanks, J-Man. Crypto economy. You mentioned some people know liberals that may not want Texan token. Why would they not want it? Because it's what it stands for. So, okay. And what I mean is I'm thinking of specific people in my life who, um, how should I put this? I'll, I'll go from the beginning. There's really two, two approaches that I see in this world. And they're both trying to do the right thing. Okay, genuine people. So the people that I know in my life that are liberal care about people, right? I'm not one of these people who is like a far right crazy person that's like, these people are brain dead and and they're just idiots, right? No, no, no. I think that the, the liberal mindset versus the libertarian or conservative mindset comes from two different premises. The liberal mindset comes from this idea that man is good, that your heart is pure, and that you are inherently good. And then the, the, the conservative mindset is one that says the, the human heart is corrupt and anything man touches is corrupt. Where do they get that from? That's actually what the Bible says. That's what we, in history we see that corruption is actually one of the most consistent things. Now, are people capable of good things? Absolutely. But the heart is not good. The heart is corrupt. And so you've got two people that are operating from two different premises. And so what ends up happening is that the liberal mindset says, well, if we're good and there's enough good people, then utopia is possible because all we need is more money, more time, and we can literally turn the dial. And if we just get the right program, and we just get the right amount of money, and we just get the right thing, then it will be utopia. And what is clear to a lot of people that I know is that when you look around the world, what I see is carnage and I see corruption, and I see the human heart on display. And so the conservative recognizes that and says, no, 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 no. Do not put power and control in the hands of centralized planners. Because when you do, people don't make good decisions from far away. And it's just practical of understanding how things work. But it doesn't mean that people that are liberal don't care and that they're mentally ill. No, it just means they're working from a different premise and they think that, well, yeah, I'm good, so everybody else is good. Well, I assure you they're not. And I assure you, if you had control and had all the money, you wouldn't be good either because you'd watch them out, out for yourself. And it's just like anything, you know, it's great when the king is benevolent, right? But what about his son, right? The king currently may be awesome, but what about his son? Because he ain't going to live forever. And his son's going to take over and he's going to destroy things for you. So what do we do when we think about setting things up? We, we take the power out of people's hands. We decentralize things and we remove control that's centralized away from people. Why? Because corruption, right? Absolute corruption. And so it's understanding the frailty of the human heart and the desire for more and the desire to lord over and the desire to destroy. And we say, you know what? We know that's your tendency and our tendency. So we're going to have checks and balances and decentralize. We're going to do the best we can. But knowing that when we create, no matter what we create, it's broken. And that goes for all things created by men 
and women. And so that's why I would say that. So there are people that I know that would say, well, you shouldn't break this thing. You shouldn't step away. You shouldn't push back. You shouldn't break the rules. You know, you can't do that. And so there are people who don't understand this message of understanding freedom and sovereignty. They think we're just one program away from utopia. Just give them some more money. Biden will twist it and it'll make it work out for you and everyone will be happy. Just give it over to Klaus Schwab. Just, just let the people within the World Economic Forum that are not elected people have control. Give it to the UN. Let those people, they're smarter than we are. Let's just go along with it. You do not get your rights from the state. You get your rights from the creator and their inalienable rights, right? Can't be taken away. That's why we have the ability to be a sovereign nation is because all political power is inherent in the people because of our inalienable rights that are not given to us by the state. The state is just a construct in which we think will bring us life, liberty, happiness, prosperity, right? That's what we think. So there comes a time when you have to abolish or change these things and you have to rewrite the rules. And that's what we're doing. Moondog, I have 5K space in the Texas Real Estate Investment Center. Wow. Houston in Houston has some friends. They're playing Magic the Gathering and watching Pulse Con on the 4th. Would love to uh, love to have more later. Wow, Moondog, what's up? That's so great. I'm excited for Pulse Chain. Me too. Oh, of course. Um, Joseph Cross, I got Hex at 41 cents. And I know many people who did, right? We thought it was going to the moon. Everybody thought, right? Bitcoin to 100,000. And it's, you know, it's painful, right? But you also look at this and you go, you know what? There's hope in the future. And we know that everything's down. So we'll see. We'll see. But once you've hit the bottom, there's only one place to go. And that is up. And timing is everything in these, in these uh, new economic systems. So be thankful where you are and keep on keeping on. Do not give up. Um, yeah, Mr. Rafferty says, yeah, you can DCA in. But I don't give financial advice and nor does Mr. Rafferty. Um, my legal name is also David Lee. Wow. First of the basic training. Wow. That is so great. Um, that's so awesome. Rafferty blew my bag on it at 41 cents. And there's a lot of people just aped in at that time. They're like, yeah, this thing's going to the moon. And of course it leaves a bad taste in people's mouth. And I understand that, but you know what, you know, got to get back up on the horse. White dude with glasses. Do we have a limited amount of time to give away the second airdrop? Yeah, um, seven days. Seven days from Wednesday to Wednesday. So you just need to find someone, get a get a public address. Um, I'd really encourage you, though, to, to do what I'm asking you to do, which use this as an opportunity to say, hey, I've gotten this opportunity to give a gift. Get yourself a wallet. Don't do it for them. Don't just like create another account and do it yourself and hold it for them because you probably won't give it to them. So do it and get it out. Get it out there and use it as an opportunity to build a relationship with somebody. There's only one righteous man to ever walk the earth. Amen to that. Liberals are just Americans that need woken up. Never give up on them. I've turned some. It happens. You know, and how I look at it, it's not even just liberals because everybody wants to separate us, right? These are human beings created in the image of God, period, end of sentence. That's it. There's no difference, Right. But there's perspective, there are narratives, there are stories. We've been lied to, folks. And that awakening that you're talking about isn't woke, right? It's awakened to the fact that, hey, understand how this place is built. You don't have to be here for very long to realize, hold on, there's a construct. There's basic things. And in my opinion, if you think the human heart is good, you're blind. You're blind. You don't, you're actually not living in this world because it's actually built on destruction, right? Carnage. People will kill and covet if they don't get what they want. The first DS was a dude from Mississippi with braces. I could hardly understand a word. He said lots of push-ups. There you go. Hex Fetty. Buy more Hex today and offset the average price. That's the DCA concept, isn't it? Christ is the only one who lived a perfect life. His heart truly free from corruption. Thank God for him. Jesus is the only way. The light. Very generous idea. Hex Ray Vision in the house. We will be talking to you later this afternoon. Looking forward to that, my friend. Um, good to see the OGs in the house. Joseph Cross, learning from Richard Hart that there are four-year cycles, so at least next time I'll know. There are cycles to everything. That's a big That's a big learning in this life is to understand that there are seasons. What season are we in? Hexakin, Greenhorn, Matt, happy holidays, brother, to you and the family. Let's go. Texan, Texas token. Well, Texan token. 
but yes, close enough for government work. Um, Rags wallet video here. Yeah, this is a great thing. If you had somebody you wanted to help them learn, you can go to texan.cc and you can go to the video section. There's a video at the very bottom. The, the, the bottom video is Rags talking in detail about MetaMask. So if you want to show someone, hey, here, here, watch this video and then give me your public address. That'd be a good way to do it. Hate needs to be removed from both sides when viewing the other. Absolutely. That's why you have to see people as um, a unique creation with value. That's how I look at it. And that's what's so incredible about, you know, the communication network. You know, I talk about Crypto Bobcat. Crypto Bobcat is a Russian guy. He's a hexagon and he does TA on the internet. And he's strong like bull. And I, his name's Ivan. And Ivan is such a good dude. And I like him so much. And I'm like, I don't look at Ivan and say he's Russian. He's like Putin. I'm like, no, he's a hexagon dude that lives in Russia. Right? So what has happened is people have become... A human. And the question is, do you judge people and say, oh, I'm better than you? That's how people have destroyed and killed people over the years is pitting one group against the other. And it's the same thing that's happening in politics. And I think what we really need is to see the value in human life and see the value in each other and know that God can use anybody. And the question is, you know, you may just, you know, think about this, folks. We're all going to the same fate, right? Some people are just earlier in line. My buddy that died um, of colon cancer, he said to me, Matt, I will see you again soon. He said, I'm just, we're all in line. I'm just ahead of you. That's all he said. I was like, it's a good way of putting it. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're almost done with this. Uh, most men will proclaim their own goodness. Well, and you know, you think about this. I mean, Richard Hart's in this scenario. He talks about the glory, right? You know, he went from, if you look at his old videos, he went from, you know, humble guy who was smart to telling people to kneel before him. And, you know, my advice to him would be, hey, here's the thing. You're winning. You're winning. You don't have to rub it in people's face. They're recognizing it. And it's way better when you heap coals, you know, hot coals on their head. You don't have to do it. It happens in the process. You know, you don't have to rub their nose in it. It's obvious that you're right. And I love that you're winning. Um, but, you know, you know, we open our mouths and we, we show the condition of our heart. And it's broken and it's corrupt and it's prideful and all those things. And it's okay. It's okay. We're all on a journey. Got to love people. Got to have love for people. My online ghost, what's good, everyone? Bob Lee, Matt, what a thing for people to do. Um, midnight shifts tough. To, oh, yeah, you guys talking. A human heart has an absolute capability, capacity to be both truly corrupt or righteous. We can try to guide those to build up others and ourselves through unmoving discernment, wisdom, and love. I love it. Um, NT Fryer, what's going on? Funny that this community has so many common names. There's Nate Stakes, Nathan Espinoza, I'm Nathaniel. Uh, yeah, it's great. And Matt's. Matt's are everywhere. And of course, they were the tax collectors back in the day. Am I right? Christian constitutional conservatism is the solution to human conditions. So far, nothing has been better. Well said, wise words in the stream. Crypto economy, thank you so much. You're the one that was last. Thank you for joining. I'm going to share with you the announcement, and then we'll be done. Thank you for joining The Pulse today. My name is Matt. This is Crypto Heartbeat, and here is the announcement of all announcements. If you were a claimer, a free claimer, only the free claimers, the people that brought their qualifying addresses went to the website and said, hey, I'd like it. You are now going to be able to come back on Wednesday at noon for seven days and any qualifying wallet that you had that will be in the database because you already came, right? The last 30 days you came and checked it and you, you raised your hand. You're now going to get an extra address. You're going to be able to give that to someone else. We're encouraging you to give away what you want to receive. Okay. Give away what you want to receive. This is the premise. So think of someone in your life who's not in crypto, who should be, but hasn't gotten around to it. And you're saying, hey, I've been given this gift. I want to give it to you. Watch this video from Rags. It's on, if you go to the about section in texan.cc, go to the bottom. It's that bottom video. Send that video to him. Say, hey, watch this. I would like to give you the gift I've been given to give to you a million Texan tokens free. You don't need to put any money in anything. You just have a wallet. I'll copy your wallet into this form field and I'll click, you know, enter. That's it. And then we will count that person in. And then the cool thing about it is you can build a relationship with people. But see, this is an opportunity for onboarding people into crypto.
right? Into the Pulse Chain ecosystem, into DeFi, which we know is the way. All right. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. So anyone who free claimed, that's that includes 21,790 people. I'm sorry, wallets will have the opportunity to have one additional wallet address included in the free claim. That's pretty cool. So think about the people that you care about or you want to include who weren't in the Pulse Sack, weren't in the Pulse Sack Sack, didn't have hex stakes, maybe not in crypto at all. Bring them into the fold. So excited about it. Folks, we got 23,626 people, wallets, who have given or have claimed. This is a great start to an amazing community that is going to watch the birth of a new nation. And if not that, they're going to secure their own future through the immutability of DeFi on the blockchain. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for being in this chat. Thank you for praying for Stacy Lee. Thank you so much that this, this community is more than just money. And thank you so much for watching today. Take care of yourself and do not mess with Texas.